Tyson Fury went 10 rounds with the former UFC champion Francis Ngannou and won by split decision. Shortly after this fight, a lot of people have been saying this was one of the most embarrassing fights to take place in boxing history. Because Francis Ngannou came in, his first ever fight, first ever fight took him to the limit, lost by one point, and a lot of people think it was a robbery. You shouldn't be able to do that. No novice in any sport should be able to do that. Bad as Tyson Fury looked, and as funny as it was to see him get chinned by a guy who's never had a boxing match before, I'm pretty aware that Francis Ngannou's a kind of special guy. Cool. Got that sorted out. Oh, but he landed 10 more jabs. He still won. Oh, that, that make you sleep at night, does it? Go and watch the highlights and watch Francis be 90% of those. And then after the fight, Fury's black and blue. Francis looks like he's just woke up, fresh from a nap. Well, Boxing Social would release an article about Robert Garcia's thoughts on how Tyson Fury's ranking in the world should be. Robert Garcia would state, Nah, Tyson Fury shouldn't be in the top 10 pound for pound fighters in the world. He would even state his thoughts on Tyson Fury vs Francis Ngannou post fight. He looked like crap. I think Yuzik's gonna slap him around. He's not gonna touch Yuzik, I guarantee you. Which honestly Tyson Fury did look very slow in the fight vs Ngannou, but I have to say I think Tyson Fury will be training hard for the Alexander Yuzik fight and might go straight back to his bully tactics of leaning on his opponents and tiring them out. Now this might pose a problem for Yuzik if he can't avoid Tyson because he doesn't weigh nearly as much as Tyson Fury, but if he manages to avoid getting leaned on for 12 rounds, it could be a very long night for Tyson Fury. What do you guys think? Make sure to comment down below and make sure to leave a like and subscribe.